today we have a very multi-talented actor who is also a painter, who is also a poetess, and she is an actor, new actor, and uh, she is Piyu Sarkar Hi. in our studios. Hi. 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 So first tell me, you know, you have poetry, painting, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Where did you start when you were young? What was your first interest where to create something? Yeah, I think I started from my heart, yeah. which is my passion. Okay. And I didn't make an effort for it. I think my passion just found me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it such happened that uh, one day I was feeling very much, you know, confined in emotions. And I started creating something. And what? I, yeah, sketches. Okay. And I started creating and I stayed there for three days continuously. And that, that was the first, that was my first uh, encounter with myself where I was, dis where I discovered the joy of creating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that was my first creative outlet. And that's how I discovered. So you started with painting. I started with painting and the poetries, they just happen like rain and love. So. Yeah, <laughs> painting is poetry too. Yes, you express yes, yeah. uh, by brush or you express by pen. Mm, it depends. Like. Uh, uh, when I'm sketching, then of course it's I'm I'm expressing um, through pen, uh, pencil, or different medium. The mediums are not necessary, like not necessarily uh, the factor to to think about even because it's natural. Right. Yeah. So I just go with the flow and I let my uh, cerebral, um, you know, ideas on the paper and I try communicating with the ether and. Yeah. So where I does the around. acting come from? The acting was fun always. In fact, uh, when I was, uh, when I, when I, I've been professionally uh, painting from last 13 years. Yeah. So it so happened that all the time, because acting is an extension like painting only, it's a creative journey. So when I did, did do some acting for fun, uh, yes, I liked, liked it very much because I was playing a character. I was getting into that character skin. And uh, I was um, obviously playing that role at that point of time, which is a part of a drama, a part of a story, a part of a narration, just like paintings are. Mm -hmm. So that way I was creatively quite satisfied. Yeah, but. So in paintings, are you, do you watercolors or what, what acrylic or? Actually, uh, yeah, mostly my recent series is on acrylic and I'm coming up with an exhibition uh, here on 27th. Okay. Yeah. So in Olive, yeah. Olive restaurant. So uh, I have many exhibitions lined up in Bombay. What are your themes of paintings? Themes is uh, freedom, moksha, uh, because in some level we are all looking for a kind of a state of nirvana. When you are in the state of nirvana, you're most content with yourself. But mm -hmm. moksha and nirvana is not, is not the same thing. So sometimes people find it through love, through relationships. Sometimes they are so fully content with their psychology that they find it within themselves. And that is the state where I'm trying to reach through my creative work, yes. But you have also done bird series or something. Yes, birds are very symbolic because in ancient mythology, bird symbolizes the soul. The soul is always free and the soul is beyond any borders. And the birds are, birds are the soul because uh, the birds have their own way of living. They navigate their ways through the sky and they are there this moment and gone the other moment and that's very exciting for me and Leonardo was uh, inspired uh, by seeing a bird and that's how the first aeroplane came. Okay. Um, birds are my inspiration. So basically these are, the, so you are having a, an exhibition on the 27th yes, which is 27th. like uh, five days from now. Yes, yes, yes. Or in Olive. In Olive, yes. Okay. And uh, acting now. Yes. Uh, what roles have you done? Where have you acted? I understand you were in Mumbai yes. uh, sometimes back. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, in Mumbai, I always came for my exhibitions, both in Museum Gallery and also in Jahangir Art Gallery and also abroad. But acting, yes, I did for Z Television. I did, uh, uh, I did a play win. It's, it was a, a, um, a play win uh, super loto show. And that was an M sing for the Z TV, which I did for two years. And apart from that, I did uh, Sahib Bibi Gulab. <coughs> that was a that was a um, epic drama. Okay. And that was also for serial. And apart from that, I also acted with Nasruddin Shah Pankaj Kapoor, and it was a serial again. So, uh, yes, these are my experiences of acting when I was uh, in Calcutta. The casting was from Bombay, but uh, yeah, now I want to go out and do something external, and I think acting is interesting or would be interesting. That so thing. now you are in Mumbai for good. 
For good, I've shifted to Bombay. So what kind of characters you would like to play? Uh, experimental characters, firstly, and uh, characters that are, um, yeah, experimental. And obviously, uh, characters that's part of a very interesting script, because script is the skeleton of the story, you know? So even <clears throat> like a good director or a good producer, even before they decide on the cast, I mean, they think about the skeleton of it. Mm -hmm. So the script, so I would like to be a part of a good script that would add some meaning or substance to my character through which I can communicate. Okay, so you said you write us. poems, how about reciting a poem for our audience? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I do write poems in the sense, uh, yes, poems happen. And there are many poetries, I have whole books of poetries which are not here with me. So I don't know, like, uh, how do I go about it? Um, but I do remember a very poetry which I wrote when I was very very young. Now this poetry and through this poetry uh, my, I have this search for home uh, because uh, sometimes uh, when we are when when we think we are at home we are yet not and we are all searching home in some level or the other and sometimes there are pain uh, or past memories of pain and how we get over it and will we find it that is the poetry. So the poetry goes like this that I as as a character has lost it. I have lost my way to life, I have lost my way to home, so lost it, left some precious memories way back home, some dancing daffodils dried up in sun, some dirty weeds were smashed under big boots, some salty tears mingled into dusky highways, lost it, lost the way to life. And that is the first phase of the poetry, now it is not a, uh, it is not a poetry uh, where I have, where I'm questioning uh, or expressing anything, it is an expression where I've lost it. And uh, the last line is uh, that obviously I hope to find it again. So the lost and found game. But yes, there is pain in the poetry, but at the same time, it is not a painful ending that I'm looking for. So you're looking for hope. I'm looking for hope. Yes, That's yes. Nice. Because pain is also a part of reality and poetry comes from a very real and personal place. Yes. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so you, we have had your acting and you have poems. Now we will show our audience your paintings, some of your paintings. Now tell me, I understand that you are psychic? Yes, I am. So tell us about it. I, well, I communicate with spirits and the first time I discovered this, uh, I'm actually very scientific. Uh, and being a, being a very scientific person, I used to question that, that mm -hmm. whether there is or not. But the first time I could communicate with spirit, I was very amazed and very thrilled that really I can do it. And honestly speaking, I have got many of them as friends, but uh, they, don't they don't live in the same layer for long because they have to move on and uh, I have communicated with them and uh, even while communicating I know they're not going to be around for long but I have become friends with some of them. So do you see them? Oh uh, well yes I see them they are translucent okay. and some of them can speak and some of them cannot. Okay. Okay those who can speak I have spoken to them I've spoken to them um, uh, uh, like in what their language? language. What language? They have their language, like it's just like us, like in okay. Hindi or English, just like us. I've spoken to some of the spirits who are from the Westerns because they are like air and I've spoken to the spirits who are Indian. Now they have their languages just like Hindi and English, like we are. Now I've also asked them that how come they are here? Now they are here in the sense like they are, they are living by a memory, like um, I really, really want to go to a fair, for example. And I'm going to back to the fair again and again and again because while going back to going to the fair, I couldn't finish buying something. That is how the spirits are. They keep on doing again and again. So it's psychological. But once they, once they, once they, once they, uh, uh, once they understand that the memory, they have to detach from that memory. They attend moksha, and also um, when they are really, really in a very good state of mind, they attend moksha. So do they inspire you to like, a, like do a painting or write a poem? Yes, they yes, do. yes.
In fact, very honestly speaking, I'm writing a book on spirits. Okay. But I couldn't complete it because uh, uh, it might seem a bit funny, but it is not. Because they are just like us. They also have a community. And it will take a very high concentration for me to finish the book. And one among the spirits who is a very good friend of mine, he told me not to write immediately, but to write after discussing with their community, actually. <laughs> it might just seem crazy what I'm saying, but being a psychic, I know this is the truth and that has happened with me. And I'm really honored that I could speak to them and they could show me their pain. So can you call them here? No, no, no. Because it's very personal level. Like, uh, I went somewhere I am, and I could see them around me, but the person who's sitting beside me will not see them, but I could see. And uh, even some, sometimes I'm there, I can see. I can very well see. I can see exactly what they're doing. You can see or you can you feel? See. See. Translucent. In translucent manner. I can see them, but uh, the person who's sitting right next to me will not. Because they want me to see. That's why I can see. And sometimes it's been very heartbreaking for me because they came and sh to told me what kind of pain they have been to, how they died. And uh, I was in tears when I heard it because I know that is the life they left and they're never going to come back. But I feel very happy that they have been able to tell me their story. And they also feel content in some way that they have been able to express themselves. Now, you know, normally people are very skeptical about these kind of things. <laughs> what if somebody says you are hallucinating? No, yeah. it's not hallucination. Because uh, it's not exactly hall hallucination. Because uh, what is happening is they are there. They are in a different level. What I scientifically thought is, or, or I, I analyzed this, is how is this happening? Now, in ether, there are high energy wave particles. Now, this high energy wave particles maybe react to a, a sensitive brain. So could be like that I'm communicating with it. That's my scientific explanation of how it's happening. Now science has, uh, there are many things beyond science which is meta science. Now this falls obviously in parapsychology or meta science. And uh, yes, mm, because I can communicate them like, uh, like I am in this layer and they are mm -hmm. in that layer. So I somehow my brain is going to that layer where I'm picking up symbolically a telephone to talk to them like you know and I can see them you know so it's very individual and personal and they tell me a lot of things like because they are like they're amazing like it's just like us you me him <laughs> all of us uh, because it, it's just the difference is they can't eat or they can't touch that's the only difference otherwise they're can you touch them no 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 but I can communicate with them, I can, I can hear what they are saying. Some of them speak, some of them don't. And some of them cho chooses not to speak. Why is that, that some speak and some don't? Could be because of the difference of layers. Okay. Yeah, because of the difference of layers. But some of them can just speak because some of them, because there are layers, because there are spirits that have seen and have also seen how they have moved on to the next layer. Mm. Anything I didn't ask you want to add? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, it's an amazing, wonderful experience communicating with the spirits. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much yeah, and best, best of luck. Yeah, thank you. Welcome thanks. to Mumbai. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> thanks.